Megan, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. I'm so excited to speak with you. Um, I want to start off asking how this series originally came about for you. Um, so I have always been a huge musical theater fan. So first of all, talking to Broadway world, I feel starstruck. No, <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, but I'm also a huge acapella fan. And I watched Pitch Perfect, the movies in the theater when it came out, and I was a fan. Uh, and then, you know, flash forward many years later, Elizabeth Banks and Max Handelman, our executive producers, were interested in expanding the Pitch Perfect universe in sort of a offbeat way. And they knew I was a fan and that I have, you know, TV experience with a very silly, absurd type of sense of humor. So it sort of just organically came together that they thought I might be the one to take Pitch Perfect in an offbeat direction. Yeah, I what I loved so much about the series is that the movie has such a great specific sense of humor and I felt like it really translated so well to the new series. So how did you go about sort of taking things from the movie and bringing it into this new series? I first and foremost wanted to make sure that the OG fans of Pitch Perfect felt honored by the show and that it wasn't so much of a departure that it was unrecognizable. So the, you know, the music is still there. The friendship is still there. Kay Cannon, who wrote the first movie, is an incredible joke writer. So those movies do have lots of wonderful comedy moments in them. Um, but putting it in Europe and Berlin opened up this huge possibility of fish out of water jokes. And anytime Bumper, you know, talks about kind of being a dumb American in this inc incredibly elegant location, that was really me uh, sharing my experience of being a dumb American going to Germany, which is a fantastic place. So a lot of humor came from that. Yeah. Uh, speaking of like the Pitch Perfect fans, what do you think will maybe surprise them about this new series? Well, we do have a lot of different types of music. Um, so again, you know, we have some touchstones of the acapella world. We have full on acapella numbers. We have a riff off, uh, which is a, a Pitch Perfect staple. But then we also have original music that Ryan Tedder wrote a song who is one of the biggest songwriters in the world. We also have a team uh, whose names are Jess McKenna and Zach Reno, who write some of the other original songs in the show, which do veer into more musical theater -y territory. And so I felt like a lot of my tastes were satisfied musically, and I hope theirs are too. Yeah. Okay. So we've mentioned musical theater a few times. If you could ever maybe adapt Pitch Perfect into some sort of Broadway musical, what would you sort of want that to look like? That is such a good question. And I feel like I should leave this interview and go like try to do that right now. But this is something that I thought of when I was writing the show. And I think it would apply to a stage show too. Pitch Perfect is kind of a sports movie. Like, it has the structure of you're rooting for a team of ragtag individuals and uh, you want to see them win at something. So I think having that competition structure is really great, but also maybe there should be like trampolines, like bring it on the musical. I that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll be there opening night. Love it. <laughs> well, congratulations on your work on the new series. And thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you. Very nice to talk to you. If all of the kings had the queens on the throne. Bumper Allen. Peter from Das Sound Machine. We You're famous in, in Germany. Germany. Your TikTok has 7.6 million views. It's like a million views. Move to Berlin and work with me. I can make you a star. I'm moving to Germany, baby! Star is here! It's nice to meet you, Bumper. Eddie is amazing. She'll be your assistant, too. Bumper! Hmm? Focus up! Yep. You are going to perform at German Uni today. It's like the 4th of July meets a Super Bowl halftime show. Except that we are way cooler about showing nipples here. Bumper, Ellen's going to try to play at Unity Day? It doesn't have the range. I can go from to. I just think that, yeah, you know, so I'm amazing.
for the proper performance. It's hard, even for the most seasoned performers. Don't worry, I work better under pressure. What's up, Berlin? to be famous my entire life. I thought Berlin was gonna change everything. It still could. When they don't know my name. If you don't take a risk, you don't grow. Don't know my Somebody get the mask because Bumpa's song is a banger. What if we turn this into a riff off? <laughs> you Americans, you are obsessed with your riff off. Riff off. Riff off. Riff off. You said riff off, I said riff off. Okay. I'm not like a corny acapella guy. I'm cool, right? Right? Right?